What is up, Internet world, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike, and the man behind the camera is Ian, and to bring you the 2023 Chevy Colorado Work Truck. Zero to 60 in the all new Chevy Colorado with the low output 2.7 liter. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it to 60, to 60, to 60. Did this thing break eight seconds? Oh, it actually is probably going to. And done. 9.93, just under 10 seconds in the all new base Chevy Colorado with the low output 2.7 liter. Now, as we move to the center, you will see that there is a small little grill here. And that seems to be more popular in 2023. A lot of vehicles that we're reviewing nowadays seem to have two or three grills to make it more cut, to make it more edgy, as opposed to just one big bumper. Now, moving down, you have the big old Chevy logo. And then again, of course, a lot of grill here, but this does have a front camera right there. Boom, 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 boom. And moving down from the camera, you have the same bumper, but this protrudes out a little bit more to take the impact at first hit. And then moving down from that, you have two tow hooks on both sides, one right there and one right there. So if we start at the front here, it does have Chevy right in this front headlight housing. Moving down, you have 17 inch steely wheels. An important piece here though is the inner fender liner is carpeted. It's not plastic, which means they're trying to keep it quiet inside the cabin. As I move back, I do have piano black side mirror housing and then you have another camera here because it does have 360 camera as an option. Moving down I have the Colorado right there in the middle of the body of the vehicle and then moving back it's again very basic very standard there's no chrome it's rubberized on the trim the handles are very standardized and moving down you'll notice the back window is tinted there are no step bars to get in but there are these mud flaps on the front of the rear tire. Now on the back here, again, it's wide bodied. There's lots of cuts. You probably can't see it in white, but the way the body lines flows, there is this shoulder line that swoops down here, meets at this upper line here, and it's sort of a three-way meet right here. And that's where the widest part of the back end of this box is. And then it flows all the way down here and you have this other line that comes. It's hard to see it on this white car, but there's a lot of cuts here and you can see the angle of it. Maybe my shadow will help. And as we move down, again, you have inner fender liners that are carpet, not plastic. It's very, very common to see plastic inner fender liners on a work truck. But in this case, you've got them on the front and the back, and they're both carpeted. Again, obviously, 17-inch steelies to match the front, which is pretty typical. The front always matches the back when you're talking about wheels. And then moving back, you've got this 4x4 sticker to let everybody know this is a 4x4. And then you have these new taillights on the back. They do have a bit of a cutout to give it a bit of an edge and not just a flat, basic style. Great, they've kept this. This is on the Silverado and Sierra. I can get in, get out this way. I do like it. And then on the top here, they do have a design. It's not flat. Again, they're trying to make it more sporty, even though this is a work truck. There is a design element to the front of this plastic. <clears throat> to the back of the all new Chevy Colorado. Look at these hips. They are wide. Anyways, to the back, fairly straightforward. You've got the stamped Chevy right on the tailgate right here. You do have that rear view camera. You do have a key that you can lock and unlock this rear tailgate from coming up and going down. Moving down from there, of course, you've got these pure Michigan plates because this is a manufacturer's truck. We have special, we get one of those plates. Now you do have this little design here, very similar to the Canyon. It gives you a bit of grip when you get in and out of the back. If you've got to grab something, you've got some grip. Moving down, you do have lights that illuminate this area at night. And then from there, you've got these Parktronics in the back. So when you back up to something, you get the beep, 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 beep. This is not plastic. This is actual steel. So it's hardcore there. But let me show you something interesting about these tailgate. When I pull it down, it goes down softly. Gently, gentle, gentle. So there are two little things here. I push it this way and I push it this way. And then you have this extra storage space right here. This is a really good use of space. You can put stuff in here, you can close it up, and then you can lock it. That is good. Now, when the 
tailgate is closed, it is completely locked because it does sit inside this little frame here. So you can put stuff that is worth money inside this tailgate. Because in the past, you'd have to get a box in the back here, and that would take away from the space that you have. Again, this is only available with the full size inside and a short box on the back. There's no other way to get a Colorado. This is the only size you can get it in. And on this tailgate, you do have two cup holders on either side. You do have a full measuring tape all the way up to 48, just letting everybody know you can fit a four by eight sheet of drywall or plywood in the back of this. You do have eight D-rings, two, two, and two, two. Again, this is a sprayed in bed liner, and that's all you have. But you also have one extra thing on the back here. You do have this rear glass that does obviously open. It does have heating elements to it, so if you do have any snow on it, it will melt when you have the defrost on. There we go. That is the back of the all-new Chevrolet Colorado Workbox. Back seat of the Chevy Colorado. Okay, not bad. Exactly the same as the Canyon that we had at the Chicago Auto Show, exact same dimensions. So I will say that it is a little bit tight. Again, I'm five foot nine, and this is how much room I have. The person in front of me would have to move forward, so I'd say probably up to six foot two would be good. Anything more than that would be a little bit difficult, but thank God not everybody's over six foot two. Now, as far as features back here, again, I do have that window that I mentioned when I was in the back. Three full seat belts. I do have a two-tone gray slash black vibe in here in this work truck version. I do have two vents in the back, which I would say are actually a premium. Usually work trucks don't have any venting. They barely have speakers. They usually have just two speakers. But here I have two cup holders and two vents. There is no USB or USB-C down here, so there's nothing to charge your cellular telephone. I do have some lighting up there. I do have a handle here, and I have full black headliner. There is no sunroof in the work truck. I do have power windows, and I also do have a different trim over here, so it's not all the same standard stuff. They're adding little pieces to change it up. There are no seat back pockets here. It's just strictly standard, but again, this is just a carry workers. So there is a handle here. When I do pull the handle, this bottom seat does come up. I pull it and voila, you do have some storage. Again, your tools are here, which is pretty standard, but you do have some storage to put some stuff in, especially on this side. And hey, there's carpet here. Remember, work trucks usually don't have carpet, and I just noticed it does have carpet. It doesn't have a huge bump out, which is nice, but there is carpet. It's not plastic. You know what I'm talking about, right? Front seat of the Chevy Colorado. Now remember, this is a work truck, a work truck. All Chevy Colorados now come with this 11.3 inch screen, standard. It has wireless CarPlay, standard. It is touchscreen, standard. You have this eight inch driver's display. But anyways, more about that in a second. Let's start at the door panel. Again, obviously no memory seat, but you do have power mirrors, power windows, power door locks. Then moving from there, you have a nice big cup holder that can fit one of these big bottles there. And you do have a storage compartment, two actually, one where your fingers would go and then one sort of halfway between the bottle holder and the actual door pull. So two different areas to put storage in the door panel itself. Now moving from there, I will tell you that the steering wheel is a lot better than the last Colorado. This is like a car. It's not an SUV or truck. It is a car steering wheel. I like it. Now moving further in the dash, you have your engine start and stop. You've got your HVAC controls right on this panel here. It's sort of integrated as one with this 11.3 inch screen. So at the top, you do have your volume controls. Now moving down, as I mentioned, your HVAC controls. This is your fan speed. You turn left and right. That is the fan speed right there. I don't have anything to push in, so it's just all manual as far as speed. To the right of that, you have your temperature. When I turn it, you can see that it's gonna change the temperature. There's no display showing me that. There's just a little tiny yellow amber light there that when I turn it, it shows me where I'm at. Now moving down from the HVAC controls and this brushed piece of aluminum, there are these car style vents. And I only say that because they're nice and thin. They're not round and big like the ones on the corner here. And then you have three individual buttons. You have your start and stop. You've got your four ways. And then you have this button here that's keeping you in your lane. Now, what about charging your phone? Well, there are no USBs in the back, but there are two in the front here, a USB-C and a USB. And then there's this little spot here for your cell phone, but it's not wireless charging in this work truck. But hey, see this design here? That is the same as the GMC Canyon that we saw at the Chicago Auto Show. And now moving down from there is your center console area. That is where your shifter is. There are two buttons here, and that is to go up a gear and down a gear. Again, this is an eight-speed transmission that is inside this Chevy Colorado. Now I must add, this is all wrapped around by this piano black, 
and I don't know how clean this is gonna be or how dirty this is gonna be, but hey, that's the choice they made. You have your auto, your two high, and your four high right here for your selector for your four wheel drive. And then your electromechanical parking brake is right behind it. And then again, you have two big cup holders and then this little sleeve to put your cell phone if you were gonna put that or credit cards. But my cell phone does fit in, no problem. My iPhone 14 Pro, no worries there. But how about the center console? How's the touch here? Pretty durable, very easy to clean, and this will not fade or rip over the years because it's a tough material. There's a button I can push down to reveal a little sort of box here. And then how deep is this? Well, I can basically pretty much put everything up to just above or below my elbow. So let's take a quick dive into the 11.3 inch screen on the Chevy Colorado. You have these one, two, three, four, five buttons plus the Google button up top here on the left side that stays constant. So underneath the Google button, I do have an outline of a vehicle and when I hit it, this is what I have. Four boxes that say doors and windows, lights, drive and park and vehicle settings. And then you have these four extra buttons that are power window lockout, camera, auto high beams and park assist. So let's hit this camera button and see what the cameras look like on this Colorado. So this is with the 360 on the left hand side and then your rear view camera here. And when I turn the steering wheel, you can see that this, this little overlay moves when I do that as well to show you how your turning is happening when you're pulling into a parking spot. Even on this one, I haven't seen this one ever, that shows the front and the back all at the same time. This even does have a trailer camera button. When I hit it, look, that shows you exactly where you are with your trailer. This is on a work truck, guys. Then I have a front camera, a rear camera and then this is me zooming into the front and then I have this is on the side 360 cameras all on this this is amazing from there you have your cell phone your navigation and then the audio so let's hit the audio button and see what satellite radio looks like on this Chevy where are you there you are satellite radio so now when I'm Sirius XM I can skip channels but I can also rewind the songs and the bottom here you can have all your presets all set up boom 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 love it very very easy to use i'm a huge sirius xm listener so i really really appreciate this and on the bottom here i have one extra button when i hit it it takes me back to my main menu which is the home i do like having the home on the bottom as opposed to the top because when i'm driving i can simply just hit this button i don't have to reach up i like that homes on the bottom that is really nice with this all new chevy system <laughs> So first driving impressions of the all new Chevy Colorado. Now again, this is a work truck, but it's quiet inside. It's not loud. Listen, I'm doing 40 miles an hour, which is about 65 kilometers an hour, and it's quiet. It's not loud. There's no tire noise that I'm hearing just yet. Now when I pin this 2.7 liter low output, again, like they always say, or domestics say, it's not the horsepower that gets you going, it's the torque and we've got 200 and almost 60 pound-feet of torque. So that's pretty good out of this new 2.7 liter. So two things I wanna talk about. One, the smoothness of it, it's very smooth. Very, very smooth. And the second thing, how light this steering is. It drives exactly like a car. It's not hard to turn or heavy. It's very easy. Watch my little finger here. Left, right, left, right. Very easy. I think that's probably important for somebody to know if they're buying a work truck, they don't want something that's heavy. And I'm sure all vehicles in 2023 that are pickups are actually smooth now, so it's probably not a big, big change. But I will say now that you have this 11.3 inch screen as standard with wireless Apple CarPlay, that's a lot of goodies to give to your guy that's driving your work truck. Now it's hard to give you guys a detailed impression of what the drive is like, but all I can say in 2023, when you get into a new vehicle, no matter what you drive at any price point, it's gonna feel good quality. It's after three or four or five years with about 100,000 miles, that's where you really show or you can really tell how vehicles actually react. At the big known cars are new, it's just always so nice. So the things I can really point out are really the screen. This digital screen on the front is nice. It has a really big gauge of the speed I'm driving. And again, I hammered on this 11.3 inch screen, but that is the big piece here. Now for Chevy to actually cut costs, if they use one engine and they just change the outputs, it's actually really easy for that, for them at least. So if you want to watch our other videos that we shot on the Trail Boss off-roading, that's going to be on the next one. So hopefully you guys watch that video. So please subscribe if you haven't already to our channel. Because normally we do one Colorado video, but I forced Ian, I told Ian, I said, look, man, we got two videos. The work truck one for people that want to buy a work truck. And then, of course, ones that are looking to buy a Trail Boss and obviously above and below. So, yeah. Hope you guys like this little review, first look, first drive, very short, short video on the all new 2023 
Colorado with the low output engine right here in San Diego. So again, if you have not subscribed, please smash the subscribe button. We only get these trips based on the numbers that we put out. And if you guys don't show us love, well, hey, we probably won't be here. And for the ones that have given shown us love, thanks for always giving us support. Catch you in the next one.